Rising costs continue to impact families across the nation and right here in our region. 2822 Eyewitness News reporter Nicole Rogers kicks off our week long Back to School 2022 series live in studio. Good morning, Nicole. Hey, good morning, Kelly and Sean. As students return to the classroom across the Commonwealth, parents are the ones getting a lesson when it comes to inflation. The National Retail Federation says back to school spending will rise more than 40% this year compared to 2019. That's tough. Staples, the staples, you know, kids like mac and cheese and things you can try and stretch across all three kids to make sure they like, you know, they're eating healthy. This back to school shopping season, many parents are focusing on the basics to stay afloat amid rising inflation, which hit a new 40 year high in June. To understand the impact of surging inflation on this year's back to school spending, look no further than Garrity Supermarkets in Wyoming. Our customer counts are up, so I know that we're, we're attracting more customers, um, but our item counts are down. Sales are staying pretty good, uh, so, so sales are still up, but it's definitely not keeping pace with inflation. What all those numbers tell me is that people are getting real tight on money. Just 36% of parents say they can afford their back to school shopping compared to 52% last year. So customers walking through the aisles here at Garrity's may notice some higher shelf prices compared to a year ago. What are some of the reasons behind that? So the biggest component is the labor issues that are going on throughout the country. Uh, and that really affects everything else. So take juice boxes for example. Okay? Everything even in the auto industry has components that go into it. So in a juice box you have the straw, you have the raw materials for the juice itself, you have the box. If there's a problem with any one of those components, there's no juice boxes on the shelf. Fasula says keeping his prices low is a top priority, which is why you may notice something different in Garrity's supermarkets just in time for the back to school season. We're making a big switch right now to a new supplier. That is going to allow us to lower prices quite a bit in our stores, and I'm very, very excited about that. A big switch, reducing some prices by cents and others by dollars. Leslie Perry is a parent of three teenagers and a teacher at Solomon Plains Elementary. She says her grocery bill has gone up quite a bit, and the kids have to be fed. There's kids that definitely don't have anything. Some parents will come up and say something to you, and you know we try to help out as much as we can. A lot of teachers give of their own time and money to help those who don't have. So, a never-ending task for teachers across any PA, as more than 11,500 children in the Wyoming Valley live in poverty. And you can see more on our week-long special Back to School 2022, a joint reporting project with the Times Leader newspaper, Mornings on Eyewitness News. Kelly John. All right, Nicole, thank you.